What is happening, Masters and Maidens of the High Seas? John Ryan here with IGN, looking at the best ways to plunder booty in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Now, there's a lot of different ways to amass a small fortune in AC4, but not all of them is as effective as others. Uh, the Fierce Room, I mentioned, can make for some fun side activities, but they won't niche all that much cash. Uh, for instance, spotting a courier and running him down can be some, you know, extra excitement when you're exploring a city, but it'll only net you a couple of hundred reals. Fun fact! A real was the Spanish-based unit of currency throughout the West Indies, and where we get the term pieces of eight, since one Spanish silver dollar was worth eight reals. The more you know... Anyways, Fanor... Fanorona... Fanorona. That's how you say it. Uh, also returns from previous games. It's that weird board game that's kind of like checkers, but totally isn't at all. And uh, the idea is that you can bet on each game, fattening your wallet every time you win. But frankly, you know, you're going to find yourself wasting more money than you'll actually win in the first few matches. And even if you do win a lot, you're really only going to make about 100 coin off each game. Kenway's Fleet is another of the side activities that, at least, you know, pretty early on, won't result in the massive profits you're looking to steal on the high seas. Uh, you'll need to spend much more time building your fleet and clearing waters in order to see big profits, and until your ship is upgraded enough to capture larger, more powerful vessels, your fleet's going to be fairly powerless to trade anywhere outside of the Caribbean. However, that brings us to the real moneymaker of Assassin's Creed 4, and it should be fairly obvious that, you know, the best way to be a better pirate is by being a goddamn pirate. Yes, surprise, surprise, the only way to make some serious money in this world is to rob the hell out of anybody else in the ocean that isn't you. You'll start out small enough, sure, taking down merchant schooners and robbing the occasional plantation warehouse, but these mini-heists will get you enough rum and sugar to begin upgrading your jackdaw. Rum is worth about 15 R a barrel, and sugar goes for around 20. And while that may not seem like much at first, once you plunder 5 or 10 ships with 20 barrels of each apiece, you'll start bringing in coin by the thousands. Rule of thumb is that the bigger the ship you attack, uh, the better your cargo hull will be. More rum, more sugar, and more materials you can use to make your ship the ultimate terror on the waves. Uh, once you upgrade it enough and open up more of the game world, you'll start encountering men of war and naval convoys, which not only carry materials and tradable goods, but also usually have a few thousand reals kicking around them as well. So, there you have it. If you're in the business of making money, get yourself in the business of booty. We intend to take all that you owe. Yet no harm shall befall any man so long as he remains at ease. Is that clear? No me mate, señor. Tengo familia. Se lo suplico. Anyone speak English? English. Upgrade your ship as often as possible, and then take on as many big scores as you can. If you're feeling particularly adventurous, you can try and duke it out with one of the four legendary ships. These are, you know, level 75 behemoths, and you can find them in the four corners of the map. The prize you'll take is impressive, around 20,000 R a piece, but be careful, because even with a fully upgraded jackjaw, these guys are incredibly difficult to sink. She's coming for us! If, however, you prefer to keep your boots dry, the only real way on land to make a lot of money is by completing the Assassin's Contracts. Those are worth a thousand apiece off the bat, and if you stay out of combat, you get fifteen hundred each. Plus, as an added bonus, if you complete all of them, you get this really excellent set of swords with, guess what, guns built into them. That's right. So if you've got other strategies for making money, be it by becoming a commercial hunter or a professional pickpocket, let us know here at IGN at IGN.com slash wiki slash Assassin's Creed 4. And for all your other AC4 content, be sure to keep yourself hooked right here at IGN. Lock them in the hold and take everything that isn't nailed down. 